Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I am here with my second part in my series Spin the Wheel and this series is inspired by Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner. I will leave her down in the description. And if you don't know what this is, I have a wheel with almost all of my palettes and today I just know that I want to do some makeup but I don't know with what. So I'm going to let the wheel decide for me. So first I'm going to draw a palette and then I'm going to... I have another wheel with things to do with this palette. So we are going to see what I will do. So eyeshadow palette's wheel. And yeah, do you see this? And they are <laughs> some palettes that I don't going to use and that's palette that I have had in my palette of the month. Ooh, you just place tribe. It looks like this if you didn't know. So now I'm just going to check what I will do with the tribe palette. Okay, we will see. I don't even know what I'm hoping for. Everything or nothing. Only matte, and I don't really know how many matte shade it is in this one. It's a lot of matte. So it's the three on top and these two in the outer corners. And this is one of my absolute favorite shades in this palette. Okay. I will swatch a little bit and then I come back and we will see what I will do. And I don't need to use all the mattes, but I just going to use only mattes. So yeah. Okay, so I think I have decided what I want to do. And I think I want to use Elsa, she always starts to eat when I'm filming, so I just have to talk over her. Um, I'm going to use these two and this one, I think. Yeah, so pretty simple look. So I will start with Maasai and do you <laughs> another thing that I have stolen from Annette's makeup corner. And take a small blending brush and just take it in like my inner crease because I really want this to pop. And I tried to do this with the look I did with Yes Please palette from Colourpop and it worked really good because sometimes I feel like how I apply my makeup and do like a light shade in here, it disappears when I do the rest of my crease. But I think it worked pretty good and now my boyfriend is home. So I think I have to <laughs> pause this a little bit. Okay, I'm back. So. And it felt like it was a super long time since I did an all matte look. And I, it felt like I loved to do it before. But now I like love to add at least one shimmer. So yeah, I think it's going to be fun to see an all matte look. So I think I will go in with... No, I'm not really sure. I think I will go in with Ashanti, this one, and take it on the outer part of my lid. And I don't think I want to take something in my crease today. I'm not sure. I am going to like smudge this up in my crease. But I don't want to use a crease shade. Like I normally do. And I don't know why. I just don't want to do it today. And I really, really like this shade. I know it's probably not a shade for everybody because it's pukey in one way, but I really like it. 
And then I'm going in with orange that is Oromo. And put this in the middle and I hope that this will blend together with the other two shades. I am so used to blend shimmer shades together and they like you don't have to work with that at all in most cases but this I'm afraid it's going to be looking a little bit like boxy like or like stripes Maybe if I go in with the brush that I had this shade and just Maybe that worked. Okay, I go in with the brush that I took this light shade on and take a little bit of color and try to blend it in with the orange. No, <laughs> I dipped the brush in the orange one. Maybe this worked a little bit better. Okay, I don't really know what I feel. I think I want to take a clean stipple, a stipple clean blending brush and go over a little bit here does do anything I don't know maybe not but okay I will take away the minimal fallouts I have fix my base and my brows and then I come back and we do the under eyes okay so time for the under eyes and I will do the exact same. So I will actually start with the light shade I have in my inner corner and like drag it down a little bit on the lower lash. And I think that this works. And I will start with the orange shade and see if maybe it's enough with just orange underneath my eyes if I want something more I'm going to take the darker shade as well I actually think that this is enough for my under eyes so I will find uh, something to have in my wash line. I think I will try to match the light in my inner corner and put on mascara and try to choose a lippy. I have no idea what a lippy I'm going to take to this. I will see what I find. So I will just fix that and then I come back. Okay, so this is... It felt like the mascara was like munching off on my whole face so this is finished look for my waterline I used cross from Colourpop and on my lips I used a lip tonic from Kaleidos in injection and <laughs> I know that I wanted to film something today but I didn't know what but I like had set my mind to do something pink this is not pink but I like this look I wanted to do something lighter today so I actually like this. I would love to maybe pop this Coro in my inner corner just because I love to use shimmer always right now. So yeah, but other than that, I really like this look and I think I have a cat hair here. How is that possible? How can we be everywhere? But yeah, I really like this look and I hope you like this video. I like to do this spin the wheel thing when I don't know what to do because sometimes I just like when somebody ta tells me what to do. So for this look I have used my Sai, Ormo and Ashanti and yeah I'm happy with this look and I really hope you like this video and that you like this here and this mascara it's the 
perversion from uh, Urban Decay and it feels like when I close my eyes it feels like it's still wet so it like leaves marks here but it doesn't it's not my favorite mascara so okay i really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so don't miss any of my videos and i hope i will see you in the next one bye